So this is the second part of my recording and uh, I will be continuing talking about the technology in teaching and learning nowadays. So, because I don't want you to be disturbed by my video, I'm just going to close the video. We finished uh, talking about multimedia tools and uh, we were asking those questions what, why, where, when and for whom we need those tools. Multimedia in education this is what we need. Look at the uh, first slide that I created. Uh, the conventional educational framework consists of two main entities, learner and educator. And the communication between these two uh, is basically a one-way process. Uh, you can see educator in here. Then this goes to information and the learner. This is the conventional educational framework. Let's go further. The conventional educational framework uh, you can see the pictures that I put it here. You can see the traditional classroom uh, when students sit and listen and take notes. There is no interaction. There is no communication between them and also between uh, the teachers and the students. It shows in this picture the teacher is just using the board standing in front of the class and they are supposed to listen and uh, sometimes they can ask questions. So in this case uh, the educator plays the role as information provider who delivers knowledge to learners. And the learner is just the receiver of the knowledge. And the question is how much they, the student, could really absorb uh, during this kind of setting. There is no mechanism to effectively aid the learner to process and comprehend this abandoned information and knowledge. And uh, generally speaking, the effectiveness of this traditional education is really questionable nowadays. And here we go with our multimedia. A multimedia has the ca capability to empower the constructivist approach for learning through collaboration, self-exploration, simulation, models and creating media rich study materials. So we have pictures, video and sounds, different kind of sounds, and we can incorporate this in structured manner facilitating the learning of new knowledge much, much, much more effectively. So here we go. Educate, uh, educator sends some information uh, using multimedia courseware and the knowledge goes to the learner. Information comes to the learner 
And innovation is connected with multimedia. And the whole knowledge goes like that. But also from the learner, through the media, to the educator. And this is what I think makes the 21st century education very powerful. Computer-based multimedia uh, has rewired the education process by giving the students opportunity to demonstrate their understanding and ideas. I'm sorry about the, uh, the graph here. I really worked hard on this. But, uh, well, you can see the uh, writings here. With a multimedia computer tools such as media editor, the learners can engage in more creative work, encouraging innovations. The interactive visual representations enable students to communicate their ideas more effectively in an informative manner. Initial design developing, delivery, and maintenance. Everything is connected here. It's just the circle going right and left. And the multimedia education tool shall provide an environment for collaboration among the intended users, both learners and educations, educators. And this is very important because we believe that teaching is learning and learning is teaching. Simultaneous access to uh, multimedia resources, such as uh, video clip, audio segment, pictures, etc., by multiple users is essential for collaborating, learning and teaching. So, the insertion of multimedia technology as an instructional tool allows the educators to deliver knowledge more dynamically through media-rich course materials. And uh, also encourages the students to learn more effectively by matching their diverse learning patterns and instructional needs. And I do believe that this should be the right process. At the end of my presentation, I would like to tell you why I created this presentation. Because uh, I would like everybody to know that the teachers, the coaches, the tutors, they have to update their knowledge. And uh, new technologies uh, are, for me, a big challenge. I'm very into it. I spent a lot of time learning. And of course, the longer I learn, the less I know. <laughs> That's that's a, the very typical process. So I need to learn how to teach with technology, even though I have been using technology for some time during my classes and lectures. But now I've decided to take the course teaching with technology to improve my teaching skills and thanks to 
wonderful, wonderful Dr. Nelly Deutsch. And thanks to the WizAQ platform, I keep learning. I keep improving. I do not have sufficient computing knowledge, training and skills in graphic design, computer programming and authoring multimedia courseware. I am a language teacher. But if I want to be effective, if I want to be sufficient, I need to really focus on new technologies and new possibilities. For me, it is essential to be retrained in order to have a better result of adapting the new technology. To absorb and handle these new technologies might not be an easy task for elderly teachers like myself. But I'm doing my best. While I was uh, preparing this uh, uh, presentation, uh, I was using certain resources. As you can see here, I am putting some links, which are important in my opinion. And this one is the last goodbye slide. I hope that you enjoyed the presentation and thank you so very much for watching. And this is Halina from Poland. Thank you very much. See you in the class. Thank you.